Oh, hello, how have you guys been? It's Dealer here, back again with yet another video. Hope you like the new intro from the Sean Labrie. Absolutely fantastic, super talented, uh, but hey, we're, we're not there for Sean. Sean. I mean, Sean's great, you know, and, and we could talk about Sean for days, maybe weeks, but really, what we're here to talk about is Series X PS5, the latest and greatest. Now, today, we're talking about EA, potentially one of the biggest producers of next generation games. Now, of course, if you're not into that kind of stuff, if you don't really care to see how the future of games is going to change or you're not really a tech enthusiast then maybe don't click on these types of videos it's really that simple but otherwise we've got a ton of people in the comments every single day every week that love this kind of information myself included these videos are for those people and i think you'll find ea's recent comment on the ps5 and next generation xbox very interesting it all comes to us thanks to an article eloquently titled ea talks and next gen ea talks and next gen consoles yeah that's it pretty simple but hey while their titles may lack flair they've got a little bit more to say in the article next gen bigger and better than we think question mark it says electronic arts leaders were asked about plans for the next generation of consoles while specific details were not shared ea hinted that there were big things on the horizon notably this would be due to the hardware of the next generation xbox and ps5 the article says ea ceo blake Jorgensen, or whatever that says, was quoted saying, we can do a lot more. Things we are doing will blow people's minds. The article continues and says, in addition to being optimistic about their future, Jorgistan also believes the industry as a whole will see more innovation thanks to the new hardware. I mean, think about what Jorgaborg is saying here. He wants to blow everybody's mind right off the back of their face. Look at this. This is Battlefield 5 running on the Xbox One X. I mean, how much better could it look? Well, once you've seen PC, you understand that uh, really the sky's the limit. And with something like the power of Xbox Series X and even the PS5, you are looking at substantial gains in visual fidelity, let alone the frame rate. Check this game out, Batman Arkham Knight. We played this at 30 frames per second on the consoles and uh, you know what, I'm done with it. 60 FPS is the way to go. As a matter of fact, Xbox Series X is already touting they'll have games at 120 frames per second. And yes, uh, believe it or not, they will. Racing games and other lesser demanding titles may in fact actually run at that fast of frame rate. They are not touting this for no reason. Blake Jorgelschmorg here has say, he's saying, hey look, we're gonna blow your minds. The things we are already doing will blow people's minds. And just in case you ain't paying attention, that means they've already got some things up and running on these new systems. Now as a fan of technology, as a fan of performance, as a guy that wants the most performance for my dollar, that makes me excited. When it comes down to it, that's what I wanna hear. Keep Keep in mind that EA also have games out there like Jedi Fallen Order that are surpassing their expectations. They may patch this for consoles like the Xbox Series X. As a matter of fact, I've went and captured some footage for you guys on the PC. RTX 2080, the works. This is the game on ultra settings. And of course, that super smooth 60 FPS action. This is what I believe the game would look closer to on a console as capable as Series X will be. Now, keep in mind to see the real fidelity here, you need to go down to the settings in the YouTube playback here and put it to 4k 60 fps blah 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 i've been uploading 4k since 2017 if you are looking at this in true quality here you are noticing a massive upgrade from something like the original xbox one now consider the fact that most people are coming from that 2013 1.3 t-flop xbox one this does not take into account all the load times or all the other benefits either let alone new purpose optimized titles for the platform also keep in mind that yeah if you're coming from xbox one x yeah the footage looks pretty similar the game really does look good on the xbox one x that's where i played through but hey just something i figured i would throw out there show you guys a little bit of extra footage take advantage of the time i have with you smaller article today very interesting statement by ea we've got more information coming later this week i'll have a video on thursday of course let me know your thoughts down below about all of this information are you excited what do you think about people that try to rain on our parade of course hit that like button if you enjoyed the video maybe learn something today show a buddy hit that bell icon if you want notifications for every new upload i am on the cutting edge of this information again you guys power this channel check the links down below for the source information patron and more thank you so much for what you do i am dealer i'm out